Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, so it is time to go over the menu plan, and I actually have a grocery haul this week. I have Azure Standard, Costco, Trader Joe's, and Butcher Box. So, lots of groceries coming into my house this week. It's been a while since I shopped, so that's not a bad thing. Um, I have so much to catch you up on. Don't want to do it in this video, so I'll probably do it in the weekend vlog. Our weekend went to hell in a handbasket. We are no longer going down the shore this weekend. Aria got sick, our doggy, so we need to be home with her. She's fine. She's fine. Just a lot going on. And I have a house full of people for the weekend, and it's just going to be wonderful. But um, I'll catch up on all that over my weekend vlog, which now won't be a shore weekend vlog. So anyway, um... Yeah, I just noticed so our Sunday breakfast says sure out to breakfast, but not the case. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave that there. We'll find something for breakfast. I'm going to turn you around. We're going to get going here because I'm expecting babies any minute. Okay, Sunday, like I said, it says sure out to breakfast, but that's not happening. <laughs> Maybe Doug and I will go out to breakfast after church. I don't know, but more than likely, more than likely, we'll just make something here. Monday, I was going to do a French toast bake. I'm going to do that. Sunday night for Monday morning. We are now off Monday. Um, we have a funeral to attend. So we are both off that day. Tuesday, eggs, potatoes, and Canadian bacon. Wednesday, apple pie baked oatmeal. Thursday and Friday, egg bites and sausage. And Saturday, a breakfast sandwich because we will, God willing, be on the road heading down to Mount St. Mary's for family weekend. And then Sunday, you know, we never eat lunch. Monday, a picky plate, just some meat, cheese, veggies, fruit, whatever we have laying around that looks good at the time. Tuesday, turkey and cheese sandwich with veggies and fruit. Wednesday, an egg salad sandwich with veggies and fruit. Thursday, a picky plate, meat, cheese, egg, and fruit. And Friday will be leftover soup. Saturday, we will be down at the Mount, so we will be going out to dinner with Adam. For dinners, so Sunday on our, when we got home from the shore was supposed to be peach barbecue chicken. It still may be, or maybe I'll make something else. I'm not sure yet. Monday is going to be a honey mustard basil salmon with rice and a vegetable. Tuesday, steak, baked potato, and veg. Wednesday, shrimp mozzarella pasta with a salad. Thursday is going to be crab bisque. Friday, chicken and potato baskets because supposedly Andrew will be home that night because he's coming home Friday night so we can go down to the Mount on Saturday. So Saturday is going to be, like I said, family weekend with Adam. Then we all have to come home Saturday night because we have something for... Andrew. So it's going to be a little crazy around here. So that is my menu for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner next Before week. Before I show you my grocery haul, I just want to tell you about two of the stores in the grocery haul, because if you've never heard of them, they're a little different. The first one is Azure Standard. Azure Standard is a co-op company. They are based out in Oregon and they are family owned and operated. They curate pretty much all organic, natural, good for you products from many different sources. And how it works is you order online. First, you look to see if there is a drop area in your location. And if there's not, you can actually start one. Um, but I was lucky, my drop location is only 10 minutes from my house. We have people at my drop who drive an hour to get there. What you do is you order all your products online, and then once a month, the driver comes out and drops at your location. It's a big tractor trailer, and it is filled with everything that everyone in your drop ordered. You help unload the truck, you take your stuff, and you're on your way. It is phenomenal. I love it. I've been getting more and more and more from them. It is a great source for bulk buying, but you also don't have to buy in bulk. So I'll leave a link down below to Azure Standard. You can check that out if it's something you're interested in. And also the other thing we do is ButcherBox. 
ButcherBox is a subscription meat service. It's delivered right to your door. All their beef is grass-fed and grass-finished. Their chicken is organic free-range. Their pork is heritage humanely raised. And all of their seafood is wild-caught. So you're getting the best of the best. They have lots of different options. I personally get the small um, custom box. I pick six different meats. I change it every time. Um, you can have it delivered four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, whatever you want. We get the small custom box every six weeks, deliver it right to the door. All the meat comes perfectly frozen and we absolutely love it. Tasting the difference is unbelievable. And let me tell you, it's no more expensive than if you're buying that good quality meat at a grocery store, it's delivered right to me. Right now, Butcher Box is having a special. Um, it, if you use my link below, it's $30 off your first box. Plus you get two pounds of free chicken in every box for the next year. When I jumped in, I had the free ground beef for life, which they do sometimes. So if you're thinking about it, you might wanna hold off a little bit. If that doesn't interest you, then you want the chicken, then now would be a great time. So anyway, just wanted to tell you about those two things because they're a little bit different than going to your local ShopRite or Acme or Giant or wherever. So let's get into that grocery haul. Okay, we will start with Costco. So at Costco, we got the twin pack of the sweet kale salad. We absolutely love this. It's one of our favorites. Bunch of bananas, watermelon, these gala apples. These are the Disney snack size apples. They're nice and small. They're not like a huge apple and Doug really likes this size. So got those for him. Got a pineapple, some grapes, six pounds of carrots, we got 15 pounds of russet potatoes because we have not harvested our potatoes yet. And then of course those potatoes I love, the Little Potato Company potatoes, love these. And that was all for produce. Picked up one jug of maple syrup. I think I have two on the shelf. I like to kind of keep two or three going. I only picked up one 10 pound bag of sugar because I forgot how much I had. I, I wasn't sure how much I had down there. I usually, I think 50 pounds fits in my food bucket. And I know I filled up the container a few times, so I just picked one up. Also picked up this block of Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. This is right from Italy. It's cut and packed in Italy. It is the real deal. And it is a really, really good price. It is $12 a pound. And in, the, in our grocery store, it's like $18 a pound. So picked up that. Of course, you can't go to Costco without picking up a rotisserie chicken. And then, of course, you know, you always have to look at the clothes. I bought this. It's a 32 degrees. I love that brand. That's what my running vest is. This really cute jacket. It's um, like the quilty stuff here and then a different material here. And I can't get it on the table nicely. <laughs> Um, it's very, very thin, as you can see, but totally warm. So I'm excited to wear that. And then Doug picked up this um, quarter zip. Doug loves quarter zips. So he picked up this grayish black quarter zip. So everything on the table with the clothes and all the food came to $125 at Costco. Okay, next we stopped at Trader Joe's, mainly for peanut butter, but we did pick up a few other things there. I picked up some wild-caught mahi-mahi. Picked up some strawberries. They look good for it not being strawberry season. Picked up two bags of the shredded potato hash browns. I have a recipe that I'm making that I need these for, and I tried to just shred my own potatoes for the recipe, and... It just didn't come out as good as with the frozen ones. So I picked these up. I picked up some onion and chive cream cheese that I need for a recipe coming up. We love their vodka sauce. Uh, it is very good. It's got very good clean ingredients and it's delicious. So picked one of those up. 
I have half a jar frozen in the freezer, but I'll just stick this on the pantry shelf. We were almost out of Dijon mustard. I needed panko breadcrumbs. We did go specifically mainly to get peanut butter and we did get three crunchies and three creamies. And while I was there, I picked this up. These are frozen mini French baguettes. I love, they're very little, very little, but they are mini. Um, there's six of them, I think, in there. I love keeping these in the freezer because if we end up popping some frozen soup or something and I didn't have time to make bread because it was a quick dinner, these are very good and very good ingredients. So I like having those just in case. Picked up a bag of peas. This is for a pasta salad I'm making for a party. Picked up a bag of shrimp for some upcoming dinners. And then picked up my new favorite shampoo and body wash, the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle. Has great clean ingredients and it's only $4 a bottle. So pretty good deal on that. And I love the way it's been making my hair and my scalp feel. So that is it for Trader Joe's, not a whole lot, but $65 for this. Next up is Azure. Okay, here is my Azure order. Um, there were a couple things that were not in stock, like my late July tortilla chips were out of stock and I forget what else. I, I can't even remember at this point. Um, and there were a couple things that I didn't order that Okay, and last but not least, our Butcher Box haul for the month. Um, I already talked about Butcher Box before you saw the haul, so I won't go into all that. Um, I did have a few add-ons. So in my regular box that we get, my custom curated box this month, I did six pounds of chicken breast, which these are three pounds each. I got two of those in my box. And then they were having a chicken special, so I picked up two more. And also in my box this month, I got two pounds of the wild-caught sockeye salmon. I got a rack of baby back ribs, four sirloin steaks, two one-pound packages of stew beef. And then, as always in my free box, or always for free in my box, is two pounds of ground beef. When I joined Butcher Box, that was the special. It was free ground beef for the life of your subscription. And then at one point we added this on and it was um, for $25, we got bacon free for life. So that is my Butcher Box for this month. We got three, 12 pounds of chicken, ribs, salmon, ground beef, steaks, stew meat, and bacon. And like I said before, the special right now is, if you use my link, is $30 off your first box plus two pounds of chicken breast free in every box for one year. So that's my butcher box haul. Friends, that is it. That is the end of this Friday menu and grocery haul. Looking forward to a good weekend. Looking forward to a good week next week of good meals. Um, really looking forward to that shrimp mozzarella pasta. I haven't made that in a while and we really enjoy that. And now that fall is coming, time to start on once a week soup. So I'm really excited about that. And if you like soup, I just wanted to remind you that on September 18th at 9 a.m., I am hosting a soup to soup timber collab and everyone will be uploading their soup cook with me recipes on the 18th at 9 a.m. So make sure you are subscribed and make sure you have that notification bell turned on and you will be notified when that uploads. We'll have a whole list of the channels participating in the description box. So it should be a good one and it should really get you set up for soups in the fall. And then looking forward even more, I'm hosting a Croctober collab. So looking forward to it, it's gonna be fun. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you turn on that bell. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. I appreciate that you take time out of your busy day to spend it with me. Make sure you check these two videos out that I have linked there. They're past menus. You might get some inspiration. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my weekend vlog.